Did Facebook Ads Manager just turn off some of your best performing music ads? Here is why it happened and how to stop it. Hey, it's John here at Hyped It, and in this video, I wanna to respond to a comment that was recently dropped on one of my new YouTube videos. The comment came from John, and John said, hello, I don't understand why every night I have a set of advertising that deactivates. At the same time, apparently an automatic application of Meta. The problem is that it's my advertising set where I generate the most clicks, so I reactivate it every evening, but I admit, I don't understand. So John, thank you for sharing. And I decided to record this video because this is actually something a lot of music artists struggle with. This can be super annoying because your music ads might perform well and then all of a sudden in the morning you wake up and Facebook changed the campaigns, may have completely shuffled around the audiences in your ad sets, turned off some, shifted budget around. And while it's all with a good intention, it doesn't always work well for music ads specifically. And so let's hop over to my screen and I show you how you can control these settings or even turn it completely off inside Facebook Ads Manager. I'm logged into Facebook Ads Manager right now. This is a demo account. And if you've run into this problem where ads suddenly change overnight without you taking any action, the chances are Facebook set up some automated rules for you. And if you're inside Facebook Ads Manager, there's a rules menu here. And if you open this up, you see an option to create new rules or to manage rules. Now, two quick points on this. Why does Facebook have this? Well, rules can be helpful if you want your Facebook ad account to make certain decisions on campaigns or ad sets or ads while you are not around. So let's say you're going on vacation for a week, you want to have access to Facebook Ads Manager, but you want to make sure that any campaign that hits a certain threshold automatically gets turned off. Well, you could create a rule for this and then Facebook will monitor for that metric that you gave it. Once the threshold is met, it will turn off your ad. So this can be helpful as sort of a remote control way into your Facebook ad account. Now, I'm not personally using rules because I create all my ad campaigns through Hypedit. So I don't want any of these rules to interfere with Hypedit. So if you're using Hypedit to run your campaigns, I would say best to stay away from the rules. But the thing is, sometimes you may have rules in your account account that you created accidentally. And this can happen if you received an email from Facebook and maybe the email said, well, we detected that your audience are fragmented or we detected that there's overlap between your audiences. And then that email has a little unsuspecting button for Facebook to automatically fix the problem it apparently detected for you. In those instances, what Facebook may have done is create automatic rules for you without you even knowing that this happened. And so not only can these rules be damaging to a music promotion campaign, because music ads function with slightly different rules than most traditional ads that Meta has in mind when they sent you one of these messages. But you also may not be aware that the rule that Facebook just created for you is just going to apply to all of your future campaigns all the time and not just in this one instance where you gave Facebook permission to change something. So two things that I want to share with you. First, whenever you get a message from Facebook ads, whether it's an email or it's a pop up in your Facebook ad account that suggests that Facebook can automatically optimize your campaign, my initial reaction is don't go for it. Don't click it. And that's not because Facebook ads doesn't know what it's doing. They absolutely know what they're doing, but they don't know what kind of music ad you're running. And they don't even know that the end goal of your campaign is to get listeners and streams and fans on Spotify, because that part of your campaign is invisible to Facebook. And this is why oftentimes when Facebook actually tries to optimize the campaign, it does the opposite. And so whenever you're looking at one of those messages and you're actually not sure, should I do it? Should I not? do it. Just take a screenshot. Me and my team at Hyped It, we're happy to take a look at it for you and let you know whether we think it's something to opt into or it's better to skip it. But what happens if you already opted into one of those rules in the past before you watch this video? Well, this is where number two comes in. You can actually delete those rules. And all you do here is you click on manage rules and it opens this rule manager. And this is where you see any rules that have previously been set up for your ad account. Best case scenario is this is empty. I would want this to be empty, but in this case for this demo account, I created two rules that are probably similar to some of the rules that you may have accidentally created that attempt to reduce audience fragmentation or reduce auction overlap. And so here's how to get rid of it. All you gotta do is go over to the right side here, delete the rule. Yes, I wanna delete it. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one, delete that as well. So that at the end of the day, there are no automatic rules. This is in my opinion, the best way 
to run your music ads. And so this way, if you're struggling with Facebook ads manager, suddenly changing things about your ads that you didn't want to have changed, you can get rid of these rules with just a few clicks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell icon below. And if one of your biggest goals right now is to get more listeners, more streams and more fans for your music on Spotify fast, then check out this next clip right here. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Grow Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Grow Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you want to get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Grow Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.